Welcome to Electra Online. Now, probably the most fascinating and interesting aspect of power series is the way we can write a whole slew of functions, all kinds of different types of functions, as a power series. For example, the function f of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus x can be written as a power function. How is that possible? Well, we should realize that if we have a power series like this, where we have f of x equals some constant plus a different constant times x plus a different constant times x squared plus a different constant times x cubed and so forth, that is of course known as a power series. A geometric series is the same thing, but instead of having different constants, we have always the same constant. So this becomes a geometric series, which is also a power series a plus ax plus ax squared and so forth. And if we then let a equals 1, because a can be any constant, then if we write f of x equals 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth, again this is a geometric series which is also really a power series. Now we have to remember that a geometric series like this can be written as the infinite summation n equals 0 to infinity of a times x to the n minus 1, which is defined as a divided by 1 minus r, where a is that constant here, a, and r is simply the ratio of two consecutive terms of the x, to, that would be a times x to the n plus 1 divided by a times x to the n power. The ratio of that is equal to x, so in other words, this is equal to a divided by 1 minus x. Now, what if a is equal to 1? So if a is equal to 1, we can then say that 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth is equal to the constant, in this case 1, divided by 1 minus x, where x represents the ratio of two consecutive terms. x squared divided by x is x, x cubed divided by x squared is x, and so forth, which finally means that 1 divided by 1 minus x, if that is the function we're talking about, it can be written as the infinite sum, which is the geometric series or the power series 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth. And that is true for all x. Now, does that mean there's other ways in which you could write different functions as an infinite series, as a power series? And yes, there are. And there's different techniques to accomplish that. So in the next several videos, we're going to show you how to use various techniques to convert a function into a power series. And it's actually quite exciting. And that's how it's done.